Hi, it's Pavel with a visual basic exercise uh, from uh, introduction to programming uh, using visual basic how to uh, be my textbook and uh, this is chapter 6 uh, project 6 we will write a program that uses a flag and does the following it asks the user to input a sentence containing parentheses uh, parentheses should not directly precede period and we will display the sentence with the parentheses and their content removed so for example if I enter something like uh, Pavel is the best this is in the parentheses programmer the output should be just Pavel is programmer the parentheses will be removed and the content as well so obviously this is like uh, will be manipulated with strings uh, I have the form already uh, prepared sentence will be entered into a text box the output will be in another text box and one when we click the remove parentheses button it will process the uh, the code and remove the parentheses and the content and output the uh, new sentence into the another text box okay so um, if I come over here uh, what do we need to do we need the, to capture the sentence so uh, we'll, we will do sentence as string and uh, that's going to be whatever the user inputs into the txt sentence dot text that's our input text now we are going to be doing uh, you know kind of character by character of the whole sentence of the whole sentence so we will do I will do uh, beginning letter and it's going to be an integer and it equals zero that's the starting point where the you know the sentence starts and from there we will be comparing each character making sure it's not the parentheses and so forth and we also need the similar for the end letter as integer now I don't know what it is going to be yet it depends on the uh, inputs so I will simply do a zero for a uh, as an initial value now the sentence that the input must contain parentheses all right so uh, must contain um, this is, I don't know if I spelled it right but anyway let's check for uh, for the parentheses so if not sentence that contains sentence is the again the input that the user enters so if it does not contain this character the beginning current parentheses or sentence and not contains uh, the closing parentheses in other words if one of them is missing then we got a wrong input actually if if not or not sentence if this is not contained or this is not contained in, uh, in the sentence then we will do a message box uh, the sentence must contain uh, ran, just like that uh, and when that's done um, else if it's, if it's a correct uh, input then we know that our beginning letter oops that's not uh, what I meant our beginning letter and now we are going to uh, find the index of the parentheses we are going to find where this character the beginning parentheses start so in order to do that it's going to be the sentence that index of and the index of what we are looking for is the beginning parentheses all right so uh, that will give us the beginning parentheses and um, we will also capture the closing parentheses so the end letter uh, equal the sentence dot index of and that's the closing parentheses so now we have a length from the starting parentheses to the end parentheses and that's those are the characters that we will not input 
uh, so our sentence uh, will now equal to what is it gonna be it's gonna be the sentence and we will remove what do we remove well we will remove the beginning letter and how many characters well as many as uh, the end letter minus the beginning letter that's the length of uh, the string that we are going to be removing beginning letter will simply give us the position of the first character that we want to remove and end letter minus beginning letter will give us the length starting from the beginning position so um, yeah that's that's actually uh, should be all let me just do the uh, the output so the test output the text equals uh, the sentence um, let's see there might be we, will, we may need to maybe manipulate with like minus one or something like that since you know it's all zero based but let me just see uh, how it works right now so if I do Powell is the best programmer so it, it does it Powell is but it it keeps the uh, uh, closing parentheses and a space after that so what are we going to do the uh, over here where it says the index of it's going to be the starting point but we will do one more, uh, actually one less, negative minus one. The reason for minus one, if you look at the uh, at the sentence, this is the character, and minus one would be here. In other words, we, we don't want this space either. We don't want the space, and we don't want this character. That's why we start from the character, but minus one, we start actually over here. Now when we come to the end, uh, now let me just uh, run that, that should... Uh, is let me see what that does oh it's gonna crash on me now uh, oh, I don't have the uh, okay it's, it should be like that this is the index of the character minus one yeah, I got the I got the minus one within the parentheses. So I uh, try again. Oops. So so now we have Powell is, and now we have we just have to remove the last. We have the index of the last character, but we need uh, basically to add plus one to it uh, that will because uh, that this gives us the length but we need one more to include the uh, closing parentheses not just up to it but including that so let me try one more time and now we have Pavel is programmer okay so let's try something else uh, I don't know Uh, let's make some bunch of spaces there and a bunch of letters and you know just to see if that's gonna work as well uh, but it should remove all of it including the spaces within the parentheses and it does I really love programming so uh, yeah there you have it fairly simple this is basically just the use of the index of to get the the uh, beginning of the you know of the string that we want to replace or remove which is characterized by the uh, beginning parentheses we will get the end which is the ending parentheses and then we will remove it from the string basically we will go to the beginning and the end minus the beginner letter uh, that give us that gives us the length of the string that we want to remove and we will add one to it to include the closing parentheses Alright, so that's all for now. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Take care.